Hello, this is Pamela. Welcome to my channel. Grab you a cup of coffee, sit back and relax, and enjoy some good old yarny talk. Good morning, this is Pamela, and you're on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. Welcome to my channel, and if you are new to my channel, my channel is mostly all about crochet. Um, I like to throw in a few other things here and there, but I love crochet, um, and everything associated with crochet. <laughs> Okay, so today I just wanted to hop on here and show a few things. Um, I, you know, I've been working on the crochet along with the picnic in the river blanket. Well, I finished week three. And I've actually started on week four. <laughs> so here is what I've got so far. This is week one through three. And week three consisted of putting all of your squares together, including these little rectangle pieces, and putting the middle section on there. And then, after they, you did all that, then you made this border right here. Let's see if I can show it better. There we go. <laughs> is um, week three. This is a little pricey. It's from the UK. But I felt like it was worth it. I'm learning a lot of new stitches. I'm learning different techniques. I mean, this is, I'm really getting my money's worth, I feel like. And this blanket, since you may think, oh, that's going to be a heavy blanket. But it, this is really lightweight. I'm really surprised. Uh, that kind of threw me off guard a little bit. I was expecting to be this far into it. I was going to be dealing with a heavy blanket. But it is a very lightweight blanket so far. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this here is called the river scene right here. And, uh, this right here was supposed to be the bright green right here. I messed up <laughs> and put the wrong green. So, um, I didn't discover that till I was already a few squares into it. So I just left it. Started week four. I have to make eight of these. And, um, right off the bat, I've done something wrong. My green was supposed to, instead of front post into this green stitch I was supposed to front post right here. So this was supposed to actually be longer. But I tell you what guys, I am not redoing this. <laughs> this was a lot of work. And uh, I'm gonna make eight of these and I do not feel like going back and, and doing it again. So I'm just keeping it. I mean, I don't see anything wrong with it. Yeah. But anyway, I think this is a very pretty square. I love this square. This probably is the most fun square that I've done of, of the whole blanket, I think, even if I did mess that part up. Like I said, it's not a big deal. It's just that I put it in this stitch right here. It was supposed to go in this stitch right there, so that green was supposed to come down longer. And all you're supposed to do is see is that little peekaboo of a green right there. But now you see all this green. But um, I just think it's so pretty. I love this. I love the colors of it. So I'm going to make eight of these for week four. Um, everyone else, today starts week eight. I'm a little bit behind because I did not even discover this crochet along till like a week before it started. And so since it's coming from the UK, um, I got it two weeks later. And um, then, and I started on it, uh, I think maybe later that week after I got it or something. Um, and so technically I really should only still be two weeks behind, but, um, you know, life gets in the way. I had, um, a sick grandbaby. I got sick. My husband got sick. That took a little bit of my crochet time away from me. And so I only did my obligations as far as my crochet along and things like that, that, um, I did during this time of everybody being sick. <laughs> But everybody's doing okay now, so don't worry about it, all of us. We're all good. <laughs> uh, nothing that a little bit of Robitussin and, um, you know, a few things like that will take care of. <laughs> I'm on week four. I'm so excited to show that to you guys. Um, I thought maybe I'd show you a little bit of yarn that I got real quick. Um, I did get this from Joann's. I bought me some of this big twist right here. It's graphic. Isn't that pretty? And it is thin. Very thin. Thinner than what I thought. It's a one super fine. I don't know why I did not realize that when I bought this online, but it is so pretty. Um, it's red, pink, gray, and um, 
it's 470 yards, 35% premium acrylic, 9% polyamide, and 56% cotton. So I got two of those. Wait, this might be a different color. Red, pink, gray, red, pink, gray. It's the same, it just looked darker. Doesn't it look darker, this one does? Anyway, so I got two of those. I got two of this one. This one's pretty too. This is called light blue, dark blue. And then I got two of these. Oh, and then here's what the label looks like. I forget sometimes to show the label because sometimes that label helps when you see that. Uh, green light is what this one's called. And let's see. And then I picked up some cotton yarn to make uh, with Rose Like Crochet for her um, washcloths. I picked up this little Americana looking one. It's Big Twist Cotton. 85% cotton, 15% polyester. It's a medium four weight. Uh, there's 96 yards in here and uh, the color. It's called Malta America. And um, so I thought I'd grab one of those. And I got, about took the label off of this one. I about slid right off of it. And there's the, what the label looks like. And then here's this one. I think that's very pretty. And that is called um, Blueberry Speckle on that one. And then I got black. I really got this black one for my sister, actually. And uh, it's just called black. And then I got um, white. So those are the colors I just bought for those. I think they had them on sale or something. The other thing that I'm working on is I started my hula skirt girl. So there's the top and this is going to be her skirt. So I'm working on this today and I, uh, <laughs> whenever you sh uh, showed you my Joann's yarn haul yesterday and I got all of that, uh, Burnett softy baby cotton, uh, baby softy cotton. Uh, let me see what the name of it is. Um, no, it's just Burnett softy cotton. Well, and I told you on my blue one that, um, I actually bought five of these because one of them I was starting this. Mm, yes, it's going to be that one. I'm starting that one. Well, here it is. This is the it. And this is where I'm at so far on it. Yeah, so I'm making me a blue one. And so uh, I'm taking this along with me. We are, me and my husband are going to meet uh, Gina from Crafted Grandma Gina. She has a YouTube channel. I'll leave her link below. We're going to meet her today for lunch. Um, it's about an hour away from where I'm at and she's from North Dakota and she's in town. Her husband's working and she's in town for about a week. And so we're going to meet for lunch today. So I'm excited about that. And um, yeah, so I'm taking this with me for my little hour drive. <laughs> and um, maybe I can crochet a little bit because this is one of those projects that you don't have to count <laughs> and do all that. Once you have your base, you just go. The only thing I count is my rows. And I usually put every 10 rows, I put a stitch marker. And um, so yeah, that's that easy. So I'm really looking forward to getting this one done. This is called Seaside Blue, just in case I did not tell you. And if you didn't see yesterday's video, this is what it looks like. I did get these for $2.99 at Joann's. They do have some more colors that aren't $2.99. I'm not sure what the deal is. Maybe they're their spring colors and this is their fall colors and they're clearance in their fall colors. I'm not sure. But that sounds logical, doesn't it? Because these are all dark colors. Uh, but the other colors, yeah, they're like uh, $5.99. I think they're on sale, but not for $2.99. <laughs> oh, yeah, the green skirt, it is, I forgot to show you that. It is Big Twist, and it is called Forest Green. And um, that's what I'm doing the little hula skirt with. And the flowers that are going to be on it, they are just going to be scrap because the flowers aren't about that big. So, no big deal on that. Um, the other thing is my daughter bought um, this at Walmart and so I've already cut it in half. She wants this as a kitchen towel. I think this towel was like 94 cents and so I cut it in half. Now it made the other side 
upside down. The chickens would be upside down. So what I did, since I have a sewing machine, I went ahead and um, this here, see technically is the bottom right there, but that's going to be my top. And I went ahead and sewed the bottom down. See? <laughs> so um, this will be gathered up here and my chickens will be right. So that's what I did with that one to, to um, take care of that problem. <laughs> I had received this yarn uh, from a lady at church. Her name is Dana. Thank you, Dana. Um, she had gone to, I guess, I think her local Goodwill. I did talk to her Sunday and thank her for this. What happened is there was a lot of ribbon in there. And so she bought that for the ribbon. And um, she thought that maybe I could keep, that I could use what was left in it, which was knitting needles, crochet hooks, yarn, you know, that type of stuff. And so uh, this was one of them that was in it, and I thought that would go with this really well. See, it brings out the blue chickens, and uh, so I'm able to use that. And I thought that I would use some of my Big Twist yellow yarn right here for my uh, for the yellow part to bring out the yellow. So those are the two colors that I'm going to use for her. It only takes me about 20 minutes to make each one. So we're looking at about an, an hour project total to uh, make these. And this is not part of my crochet along. I do have a towel topper crochet along, but this is, I will put these pictures in my Facebook group page though, because I did make them in the month of June, <laughs> but they are going straight to her house once they're done. Okay, so the last thing that I have on here for you guys is the, I got the Crochet World, no way, it's the Crochet Magazine, not Crochet World, the Crochet Magazine in the mail. And uh, it has a few nice things. My favorite magazine is Crochet World, though. And this is just crochet. Um, it has 14 fall projects using cables, textures, stitchers, stitches, textured stitches, eye cords, and more. And this blanket right here is beautiful. Um, I'm not going to show you the whole magazine today, but here, if you want to want this magazine here's some of the projects the gnome you know is gorgeous her sweater or here is gorgeous but yes this has some pretty good stuff i'm gonna show you the blanket that's on page 56 it's called the rhapsody sampler lapkin page 56 and so here's an up close picture of this isn't it pretty I mean, you're screaming, make me, make me. <laughs> so that just may be part of my fall uh, decor that I have. Yeah, because um, I could actually probably use that through Halloween. My Halloween blanket went to my daughter, and I don't know if I want to make me another one. <laughs> that was a lot of work. <laughs> Usually when I do something that's a lot of work, I only make one, and that's it. I'm done. <laughs> okay, um... Page 53 for the gnome. Let's just look at him real quick. Here we go. And he's adorable. Oh my gosh. I might have to make several of these. And it's actually a basket. Happy fall gnome basket. Oh my gosh. That makes it even cuter. Oh my gosh. I could make those and put like Hershey's Kisses and, uh, you know, candy in them. Oh my gosh, there it is. I thought I saw that. Let me see. What do you think about that? Look at that. The top comes off. I'm going to fill that baby up with candy. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so cute. I want like three of them. That's what I want to do. I want to make three of them. Let's go ahead and end this with the 365 Days of Prayer. It says, Father of goodness, praise the Lord in song, for he has done excellent things. Let this be known throughout the earth. Isaiah 12, 5. God, you are worthy. Praise, respect, honor, glory, all belong with you. With the help of your spirit, let me find you in every good thing. As I marvel at talent, let me see the maker of the hands that did the painting, the architect of the voice who sang the song. As I behold beauty, let me see the mind who first conceived it. Let all my worship be directed at you, Lord. Let me honor the author of my faith, glorify the inventor of glory, and praise the father of goodness. 
You alone are worthy, and I will worship you alone. What excellent things has God done for you that you can proclaim to others? And um, that's very nice. I like that. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I had so much fun showing off my projects, what I'm up to. And um, yeah, I should be back Monday with another video. Um, and I'm really looking forward to meeting Gina today. Hopefully I'll have my doll outfit ready to show. Um, yeah. <laughs> the most difficult part is the panty part. I want to, I don't want it to just be a grass skirt. I want the panties to be attached to it, you know. Um, and that's the hard part is making the panties. <laughs> so I've got to get that done. All right. Um, that's all that I have for this video. And thank you for stopping by and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.